This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the significant figure type of questions. Alright, first you have to understand what's the meaning of significant figure. Significant figure basically is a routing off method for you to route off uh, any number. So I give you some example here. Let's say today I have 0 0.001879. Alright, so if I want to round off this one into the one significant figures, this is what I will do is I will ignore all the zero at the front here and then I start calculate from the first digits here, which is one. You cannot assume the first digits will be zero. Then you round it off, you get zero, you get nothing. This is what you want. Alright, so what you can do over here is after you let one as your first digit, you draw a line after one. And then the number at the back here, if this number is 5 or bigger than 5, you need to add one value to the front here and then make it become 0 0.002. So you will get the answer 0 0.002. Alright, and then if I have the same example, 1879, I'm going to round it off to two significant figures. I will ignore all the zero at the front. I count my first digit, second digit. I draw a line because they have one, two significant figure, isn't it? Two digit, and then I draw a line. If this number is five or bigger than five, I will add one to the front. And then you, I will get 0 0.0019 because eight plus one is nine. And then you ignore all the number at the back here. All right, until now, you should be able to see the pattern of significant figure. Like one significant figure here, basically you will get one digits only with all the zero. Like two significant figures, you will get two digits only with all the zero. So let's say today I have uh, 1843. Okay, if this number like this, I round off to one significant figures. Then we will just count the first digits one and then we draw a line for it. And then eight is bigger than five, isn't it? So we add one number to the front. One plus one will give us two and then I will write a two here. But then you shouldn't stop here because what? 1843 is like very different with two only. You can see the value of them is like so big different. So therefore what you need to do is all the number at the back here should be zero, zero, zero. You need to change it into zero, zero, zero. Right now, 2000 is very close to 1843, isn't it? So this one will be the correct answer. All right, even though it's like this, you, some student might ask, Sir, is it called four significant figure? No, we still call one significant figure because why? You only will see one digit followed by all the zero. So same idea today, I have 1843. If I want to round off to two significant figures, I start counting like one, two, and then I draw a line. Alright, really it's a 4. 4 is not 5. Because only 5 and bigger than 5, you will add one value to the front. Since 4 is not, uh, it's less than 5. So what we will do is, we just ignore it, we don't add one value to the front. So it just equals to 1, 8. And then we shouldn't stop here, because this is 1,800. And this is 18 only. So what you need to do is, the rest of the number, you need to change it into the 0 and 0. Then 1,800 is very close to 1,843. All right, right now, if I want to ask my calculator to do this kind of job for me, this new calculator can do it easily. You just go into the shift menu and then look for the number format, which is number three here, and then look for the significant figures, which is number two here. And then the calculator will ask you how many significant figures do you want here? So in this case, I just want one significant figure, then I type one. All right, then I will insert my question 0 0.001879 and then I type enter. Okay, now you have some problem. The calculator will always live in the standard form. But if you don't want the standard form, you want to change it into the uh, decimal like this, you kind of need to use a new button called ENG. This one is the engineering notation. So basically, our uh, this button will change your number into 10 power of 3, 6, 9, or negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, or the multiply of 3. You should be able to get it, right? So right now, this one is 10 power of negative 3. So what you want to do is, whenever you see the power is negative, you want to make it into a zero in order to get a decimal. So if this power is negative, you want to convert them, you need to do shift ENG. However, if this power is positive, let's say it's 5 or 10, 
You want to change it into zero, then you just type ENG without the shift button. All right, later I'm going to show you. So right now I'm going to do shift ENG. You see nothing happened here, just do one more time. All right, right now it's power of zero already. And then this is your answer, 0 0.002. Right, so same idea if let's say the second example, I want calculator to write off to two significant figures, right? I go to the shift menu, which is set up, and then I look for the number format, number three here, significant figures, number two. Right now, I want two decimal, uh, two significant figures, isn't it? Which is number two. Right, then I will tap enter. The calculator will live in a standard form. I want it in decimal. So then I will tap shift ENG one time, shift ENG two time. Right, you see the 10 power of 0 already, then this is the answer. Why? Because 10 power of 0 is 1, isn't it? 0 0.0019 multiply 1, I getting back the same number, which is 0 0.0019. So what happens to number like this? Since this one also two significant figures, right? I have 1843. If I type enter, because just now I already preset is two significant figures, right? the calculator will say it's 1.8 multiplied 10 power of 3. But I want to get this number like this. So this is not power negative. This is power positive, right? This is what I will do. I will straight away type ENG until it gets 0. Then I type ENG one more time, and then it will get 0. Then this is the answer we want. All right, what if the power is not 3, it's, it's more than that? Let's say uh, uh, we have some bigger number. Let's say we have uh, 1. 8432. Okay, then I tap enter. Right now it's power 4. Then you will do the same thing again until it becomes 0. So ENG one time, ENG one more time. Right now it becomes 0 already. This is the number after rounding off. Okay, here I will prepare some uh, partial questions. It's similar to the partial questions. Alright, of course I changed some digits here. Alright, in the exam they will ask you something like this. Rounding off 0 0.06997, correct to three significant figures. This is what you have in the exam. So first thing is, since I want three significant figures, I will ask my calculator change into three significant figures. I go to number two here. Here, zero to nine, I will choose three. All right, then I will insert the number 0 0.06997. All right, then I will type enter. And then the calculator will live in the standard form. This one. The power of 10 have the negative, isn't it? In order to change it into zero, uh, you will need to do shift ENG. But just in case in the exam you forget about this function, you just type ENG, you no need to get panic. No matter how many times you type, uh, the value it doesn't change, it just changes the 10 power only. So what you can do is you just continue to type shift ENG until you get back zero. So your answer will be 0 0.07. Alright, if I do manually for this one. I will get the same result as well. Because three similar figures, right? I count one, two, three, then I draw a line. This is five or bigger than five. I will add one number to the front. If I add one number to the front, this one will give me 10, right? 10 is zero, need to add one number here. Nine plus one is 10 again, then this is zero, we'll add one number here. Then this is the reason why I only will get 0 0.07. Okay, so this answer is correct. All right, let's have a look at the question number two here. Which is, which is not equal to 700 when round off correct to one significant figures. Okay, so I want to know, I have answer A, B, C, and D. Which one is not equal to 700? Then I'll change my calculator to one significant figures first. Go into number format, significant figures, one. Okay, right now, I, would, I can just insert each of the number here, 659. And then I type enter. And then I will type EN, uh, ENG. This is 700, so this is 700. This one is not my answer. Then 716, and I type enter. Yeah, ENG, and then it's 700. This is my answer as well. And then I type 693, I type enter. And then ENG, this is 700, is my answer as well. Then I type 757, type enter, type ENG. This is 800. This one, if round off to one series figures, you will get 800. So this is not the 700, so the answer will be D. Alright, here I'm going to show you the one last example before I end this video. Let's say in the exam, they ask you to calculate the value of 3 minus 0 0.187 divided by 45 and round off to two significant figures. Okay, so first thing is I change the significant figures into two first. Number format, SCI, and then type 2. Alright, right now, I can just 
tap the exactly the same thing into the ca my calculator because this is paper one you don't need to show any working then i just tap exactly the same the bracket three minus oh sorry minus u this minus 0 0.187 close the bracket divided by 45 you can see how good is this calculator i basically can just type everything into here and then i type enter and then this is uh, standard form with the negative then i need to tap shift eng one time then i get the answer 0 0.063 all right because significant figures normally you have one to two question in your spm in and this kind of question is in paper one so if you know how to use the calculator you can easily get the answer you want if you are interested to get this calculator i will share a shopping link at the description below the link will bring you to the casio official store so for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher first you need to go in the shopee website and then at the search button over here you just type casio you should be able to see something like search casio shop you click on it and then you should be able to see the casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the casio scientific calculator over here just in case you cannot see you can go into here search in shop over here you just tap 570ex and then the shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then click on it and you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye